do you remember Floppy Bird? Of course you do, who doesn't? Well, a month ago I asked myself what if I create the next Floppy Bird? And so I created Just Up. Obviously I was joking, so I set a more realistic goal of 10,000 downloads. The question is, did I achieve that? Well, I will tell you. But before that I want to explain briefly what's Just Up, its history and what I've done to market it. But if you're interested all in the aftermath, feel free to skip to this point in the video. For everyone else, we are going back to the start of April. So, to understand how Just Up was born, a bit of backstory about myself. I'm an off-site university student, which means that I study in a different city from the one where I live. So I pass a lot of time in buses, trains, trams, and sometimes can be hard to pass that time. One of these days, while I'm waiting for the bus, I discover near the bus stop, under a bush, an old ball left by some kid probably, and I start bouncing it around. I'm so taken by the bouncing of the ball that I lose my bus. Short attention span, what can I say? Either way, by the time the next bus arrives, I have a strike of genius. Why not creating a mobile game entirely dedicated to bouncing a ball? So that evening, in my small room, I started prototyping the game that will become Just Up. I create a circle, make it green, create other circle, make them red, slap some axes to avoid, I make them bouncy, added a simple counter for the maximum altitude reached, then boom, the base of Just Up is born. Now, the prototype you are seeing now, it's very different from the game today, but it's there that I decided that yes, it could work, so I started putting effort in it. In the next 3-4 weeks I worked on it when I had free time. I added the power-ups, added the bouncy walls, the skins, the switchable color palette, and overall I really enjoyed making it, even if the UI kinda drove me crazy. But this is not a devlog, so I'm putting some footage of the final product now. But now let's jump to the release day where I will talk more on the marketing and the aftermath. On the 11th of April 2023, the game goes live on the Play Store and is basically a disaster from the start. Since I discovered that the Google Play app compressed the screenshot so badly that it's basically unrecognizable, especially when gradients are involved in the background, which my game has, so I had to make uh, multiple revisions until the compression was acceptable and even now it's kind of shit on some screens. But once that was sorted out, it was time to make my game node and downloaded by people and finally become rich and famous. The thing is, how do you do that? I mean, the basics are simple. Make it downloaded by some friends, family, make a couple of stories on Instagram and convince some of them to leave 5 stars. Great. Now I had 30-ish download. Now what? Well, my first steps were on social media. I made some posts on Reddit, which all in all went pretty well. I don't know how many downloads I got from that, but I think around 200. I also made a product hunt page, which I knew it was gonna be useless, but worth a shot, and so Twitter post. The problem with the Twitter indie community is that while yes, it's a good amount of people that will see your game and are lovely people by the way, they aren't ideal together players since they are also there to market their game and not to download others, so you're basically marketing your product to the competitors. I also tried to make some answers on Quora, but I couldn't find any relevant question recent enough that was worth the effort. So now, after all of that and more Reddit comments that I haven't shown you, only two viable strategies to gather attention are left. Paid ads campaign and reach out to reviewer, influencer, and etc. Both of which I had done. First, since even if I convince someone to cover my game it will require time, I decided to set up a Google Ads campaign for a month to gather an initial foothold of player and see the conversion rate. What was my budget for this? Well, Google suggested a budget of $27 for day based off campaigns similar to mine. My budget was $2.70 per day. Not exactly the same, I know. And while the ads campaign was doing its things, I switched to every developer's favorite things to do. Sending emails. But before talking about the emails, I wanted to touch briefly on how I'm financing this thing and how I'm planning to make money with it. Most of the money I'm using for marketing the game came from the sales of my two Unity assets. 
You can find the link in the description by the way if you are interested. Which, while not making me rich, they make at least enough money to cover the almost $3 per day for a month. I will let you make the math if you want to know how much money they make. Regarding the monetization in Just Up, I could have went full voodoo mod and spawning uh, an ad pop up in your face every millisecond. But I decided to make the good developer and put few ads, mostly optional. They appear when you die and click on watch an ad to continue, when unlocking a random skin if you want to extract an order in case you don't like it, and sometimes when you are starting with a possibility of 20%. Now, I know you're asking uh, how much I made with these ads. Well, patience, my friend. I will tell you at the end. Now, let's go back to the emails, and I promise you this part of the story is almost over. We are almost to the point where we talk about uh, how much money I made, how much money I load, and uh, all that stuff. Just bear with me a little longer. I can't express well enough with words how many hours I spent on sending emails, and how many of them I sent, and how hard it was to find people to send them to first. First of all, there aren't many YouTubers that cover casual games. And while there are plenty of websites that cover them, just a tiny fraction of them accept suggestions to cover them for free. Most of them will answer with a variation of Thank you for submitting, insert app name here. It seems very interesting and fun. We are very interested in covering it, if you pay us. In the end, I sent uh, over 37 mails to mobile game website and a couple of YouTubers, most of which never received any response. And about half of the ones that responded did it to ask money even if in all mails I wrote that I can pay, but the others did tell me that they would look into it. And a couple of them actually did something. Hell, one evening I even contacted PewDiePie and Hello Musk. I don't know why, I knew it was wasted time. It were 2 am, so maybe it was for that. Even if, let's face it, Elon Musk did crazier tweets in the past, so there was a possibility, I guess. And finally, there is one more thing I want to talk about before talking about the downloads, the revenue, and all that stuff. One final thing I did to market the game. I ordered on Amazon for around $11, 100 business card with written on it in Italian. I know, shocking to think that with my perfect pronunciation, I'm not a native English speaker. Tired of studying? Take a break and play just up. 5 minutes of playing won't make you fail the next exam. And uh, I distributed these uh, business cards at my university. It was harder than expected since in some departments, especially pharmacy and medicine, iPhone users were the big majority. I swear to God, one day at medicine I haven't seen one Android device. But it turned out to be a good idea and uh, a fun idea too. The little text that I chose attracted the attention of those who read it and uh, almost always elicited a laugh and uh, led to scanning the QR. And even if not everyone did proceed to download it, or were unable because they had an iPhone, I'm glad to have made someone laugh between the studies. I can't unfortunately say precisely how many downloads I got this way, but I think around 70 or 80 based on the analytics of those days. So now we arrive at the moment everyone was waiting for. What's the situation at the 16th of May 2023? Well, at the time of writing, the game has 3,787 downloads and it makes an average 100 to 200 downloads a day. Most of these downloads came from the initial raid post and the Google Ad campaign, with a surprisingly good conversion rate of almost 39%, where games similar to mine, at least according to Google, have only a 17%, almost 18% conversion rate, so I'm pretty satisfied with this data. And now the thing you're probably interested in, how much I made with these numbers? Well, as you probably already figured out, not much. In fact, almost nothing. At the time of writing, I made $1.21. I'm not exactly rich. So, what now? Well, I plan on still working on just up here and there. There's not much to add to a simple game like this, but I have planned a couple of quality of life improvement, and maybe at the time of publishing, one update may be already released, and I will also try to continue to publicize when occasion will arise on the various social media and maybe in future I will also run another Google campaign, who knows. For the time being you can find in the description links to both my Twitter, the gameplay store page and my emails in case you want to tell me something. I hope my accent wasn't too bad and I wish you luck in everything.